Now let's talk about bevel. Uh, what a bevel will do is it'll kind of create a new edge for you, a little bit of a different edge profile. Let me show you why you would want to do that. I'm going to make two cubes. Let's hide that shape for now. And if I take a look at these cubes, you can see, you know, one side is darker, one side is lighter, and that makes sense. But at a certain point, as I go around them, they sort of go flat and you lose the volume of these things. You lose that, that sort of corner, that edge. So let's make a bevel to make the edges a little bit more realistic. Now what I'm doing is um, selecting all of the edges that I want to uh, bevel. So let's do these three. And I'll select the edges and I'll go to Edit Mesh Bevel. And I don't necessarily need to go into the options because when I click on Bevel, I'm going to get this, which is called a Caddy. And this gives me the options that I would have had in here as well. Uh, so fraction is how much the bevel is for your object. Let's go 0 0.05. Uh, actually, let's go to 0 0.03. Let's make a very slight bevel here. And you see it's a flat. It's kind of what's called a chamfer because it's sort of a flat cut. But if you up your segments, I'm just clicking and dragging on the word, it rounds off your corners for you. And what that does is it gives you a nice sort of corner. So now if I go back to looking at these cubes like I did before, going around them, you'll see that the bevel catches the corner and makes for a nicer look to it. Now let's say I want to continue and I want to bevel the remaining top edges as well. Now here's going to be a problem. If I want the same bevel for these top edges as well, unfortunately I'm not going to get them. I'll go to bevel and this is the extent of my bevel ability. It only will allow me to bevel as big as this face is, as, as much distance as I have here. So that bevel, despite the number of segments, will never be the same as this without a lot more work. So instead of that, instead of doing it in two separate parts, so you end up with two separate bevels, is try to think ahead and select all of the edges that you want to bevel together so that you're doing them all together. Like I wanted to do the, the four up top and this one with the same bevel profile. Or if you want to do the whole cube together so that it's all beveled, you want to select that stuff together and then set your, set your numbers the way that you want to get that nice look. And now you've got something that will give you some nice edges. So let's get rid of those and turn on my other shape. Same thing here. If I don't select, if I don't select the edges, let's say I want to bevel all the way around this complicated, uh, sort of complicated shape, and I don't want to go around selecting all of the outside, what happens if I select the whole object and I go to Edit Mesh Bevel? Well, what'll happen is, all of the outside will become beveled. But as you can see here, all of the inside edges will also get beveled. So you're actually increasing your poly count by quite a bit, especially if you're putting some rounding to it. Now in the end, that doesn't really hurt your geometry. This object looks the way I wanted it to. I just ended up with a lot more divisions than I needed. So in this case, I'm undoing, undo, undo all of that. You really do need to go in and click your edges. And if I double click on an edge, it selects that whole loop. In this case, this loop goes all the way over there. These are single loops. And that loop goes all the way up, all the way down to this cross member and so on. So you will need to select the edges distinctly as opposed to selecting the whole object if you want to be a little bit more efficient with how you're 
geometry is created. So here I've got all of the outside edges selected by either clicking or double clicking on the edge loops. And I should have everything. And you might want to just go into wireframe mode four and five on your keyboard. And that's these two icons here, wireframe and shaded view. And once you've got, oops, see, I missed these guys. Once you've got all of your intended edges, then you can go in and do your bevel. And that should give you the same result without all the extra divisions that we got the first time around. And that basically is the bevel.